Uh, hello, uh, I shall be doing a quick uh, slicer on the Da Vinci video. Uh, I'm recording this on the phone so that I can take this to the printer as we're done. Try to do this all one handed here. So I got a part that I made up. I uh, go through my printer settings and I know these won't be uh, extremely readable. Um, so layers and perimeters, 0.4 millimeter layer, first height 0.25, perimeters 1, 2 and 2 for my solid. The uh, big things that I have here are randomize my starting points and external perimeters first. Uh, infill on this particular one, let's do a point one. This is just a, a test part. I like to use a honeycomb infill. Uh, the rest of it only retract when crossing perimeters. Nah, we'll keep that off. Uh, infill before perimeter, no, we don't want that either on this one. Uh, speeds, speeds are 35, 20, 70 percent, 50, 50. Uh, 40, 40, 30, 25. Uh, non print move 60. I've taken that up to 120, been fine. First layer speed 30%. Uh, let's do 45 on that one for this guy. Uh, acceleration control all at zero. Uh, skirt and brim, one loop. Distance six millimeters seems to work pretty good. Brim width usually is zero. That was for the last part I did. Um, let's see here. Filament settings. Filament settings 1.75. Extrusion multiplier 1.05. First layer 230. Other layers 230. First layer 90. Other layers 90. Uh, printer settings 200, 200. Centers 100 by 100. Z offset zero. G code flavor, G code flavor, rep rep, rep, rep Marlin. Um, okay, our platter. Let's go ahead and um, export my G code. Save that. All right. Now I know this doesn't take a whole long time uh, to do this. So we'll go ahead and give it a second. And again, sorry for the high resolution, but what are you going to do, huh? Alright, so she's done already. Now, go into my Notepad++, and I'm going to open my, my net mount. And this is it right here. So, I have a few changes that I need to make here. Very few. Uh, first one is where it's actually showing the uh, one second. Yeah, we'll keep them changes for now. Alright. First thing I do is delete all the comments, go to my 200. And I make 90, 130, or 230, and 230. Those are for my temperatures. I'm going to go File. I don't even have to do that yet, sorry. Select All, right click again. Plug in commands, base and code 64. So now it's all one line. Now File. Save As. All Types. And I just go ahead and dot. 3W. Go ahead and save that. 
now, with any luck, there's my part. Oh, it's almost like a little house. All right, and print. Printer is busy. I see the printer's busy. All right. I need to press OK, I think. Yep. OK, job complete. And I really don't even think I have enough on the spool to do what I need to do, but it'll be pretty close. Print. Transmitting. All right. And you see, I didn't actually modify the head header one bit. Besides, uh, besides uh, changing my temperatures. Oh, sorry for the uh, boredom here. Now, what I did do, though. And I guess I can show you this real quick. What I did do is in my slicer. Uh, let's see, slicer. Printer settings. Uh, custom G code. I went ahead and I took the header information from a previous XYZ print, copied it, and under custom G codes, put that right there. So, there it is. So now every time it actually um, Now every time it actually puts it out, it puts in that custom header. Now it is a little bit, there's some extra stuff in there. 90% uh, of it is all commented out though, so it really does make a difference. There's a couple of things that are duplicated, but it really does not make any difference. One out of every 10 times printing, it'll say printer error, and I'll have to delete that whole top header and uh, copy and paste over the clean header from the DaVinci. Alright, so let's see if we can get our temperatures on this stupid screen here. And this is going to take a few minutes, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll fast forward it, maybe I'll just bore you to death with some stupid story. Uh, either way, so this should get to... 90 C and then move the head over and it should should wait for it to get to 230 C and then start printing. I have no way shape or form uh, modified the print temperature on the uh, filament cartridge. I'm not saying I didn't modify the print cartridge, I'm saying I didn't um, modify the print temperature, so, oh, there we go, a little better, fo much better, oh, geez, look at that, bring it into focus and everything, now, unfortunately, the way this is, the printer's actually sitting, I have a, a hard time actually getting to it, I don't use the memory card hack, because I don't want to have to get into the uh, printer all the time, I don't use the Toshiba flash air card because I don't want to have to worry about that. This route seems pretty simple. Uh, make the part, slice the part, you know, change three things that I'd have to change anyway, and uh, and and go ahead and print right from the XYZ software. And again, it seems to seems to do pretty good. One out of those ten times, I'll have to, like I said, base decode it, base 64 decode it, 
delete the old header or just paste right over the old header with the uh, clean header from again it was a previous print using the XYZware software that came with the first uh, with the with the printer when I first got it in the actual CD that um, those printer files the .3w files were just straight base 64 encoded uh, they are now they now have some kind of ob they're obscured and zipped in some funny way and a base 64 decode just shows a, a bunch of gibberish all right we're up to 80 man this would take forever if it had to actually get up to uh, get up to 90 or uh, I'm sorry 100 and I, like it normally does and I it seems to take forever anyway oh yay there's a mess of TARDIS that I woke up to this morning it was uh, it was lovely lovely I tell you yesterday morning that was yesterday morning I woke up to that mess of TARDIS Eighty five, come on. So anyway, after that mess of TARDIS, uh, I did have the uh, printer head was nice and, and jammed up. I was using blue. Um, I won't tell you who the uh, printer, fil printer filament is from because, well, uh, they're not paying me to advertise for them, so kiss my what to see butt. All right, almost there. Two more degrees, and we'll see if it actually pauses to uh, get up to the... Come on, baby. Come on, make a liar out of me. Nope, there we go. Alright, so now we're at uh, 91 and 211. Uh, for those of you having issues with the uh, filament clicking, turn up the temperature a little bit. Works wonders. There we go. Handy dandy printer. Alright. See you later. Have fun.